Hey everybody, it's Jen. Um, take two, by the way, because I my last video was so long. Um, so I'm gonna try and shorten this up. I wanted to make a video. Um, for those of you who maybe just stumbled across this video, um, I am five weeks post-op right now. Um, I've been having horrible head hunger. Um, I want pizza so bad. And pizza really wasn't one of my big things prior to surgery because I was a cook in a pizza place for about six years. So um, for me to crave pizza, is, it's killing me. I keep seeing this Pizza Hut commercial and it's driving me nuts. But anyway, um, I wanted to try and make some things that I used to eat pre-op um, and make them low carb. Uh, my doctor told me that when I started t doing um, like the more solid foods that I need to stick to low carb, obviously high protein. Um, so the things that I'm about to tell you isn't something I eat all the time. It's just like when I get that craving, okay, I need it. That's when I make it. Um, so I don't go out and do something stupid. Um, okay, so I went to the store and I bought low carb bread. It's per slice is five carbs and I don't eat crust so the size of my bread was probably about two and a half carbs. Um, I got natural peanut butter. I put a little bit of butter on it um, which in my diet I'm allowed to have and a little bit of peanut butter and it was so good. I toasted it really well because I haven't tried non-toasted bread yet so um, yeah toasted it really well and it was so good. Another thing I got was cereal. I love cereal. Um, it was in the natural foods area um, on the cereal aisle. It's called like natural honey o's or something like that. Per cup, it's 20 carbs and 120 calories. I can only eat a quarter cup, so it's five carbs and like I guess 30 calories for a quarter cup. And then I use 1% milk. So whatever's in that, I really don't know. But I don't use a lot of milk. Um, so, oh, it was so good. So if you guys are cereal people like me, go in the natural areas because I found like peanut butter puffs and cocoa puffs and like all these different, you know, cereals that I used to love, but in the natural area. Um, I haven't tried them. Obviously, I only tried the Honey O's, which are like Honey Nut Cheerios, um, and they were really good. So. Um, another thing I got was, I wanted pizza, like I said, I love pizza. I bought these low carb wraps that you would use for like a, I guess a sandwich wrap. I put it in the oven on 450 for like three or four minutes. It got nice and crispy. I put some, a little bit of pizza sauce and some low fat mozzarella. Um, and I made a pizza and it was really good. And then today I took a quarter of a wrap and I put cheese on it and I made a little um, quesadilla type deal and I put um, low fat sour cream on it which was so good so I've been finding ways to still eat healthy um, and still have the foods that I love I've been on Atkins a million times so I've found ways um, like little tricks to make things I love but low carb. Something I really want to try is Hamburger Helper, low carb. I love Hamburger Helper. And they have this pasta in most stores. It's called Dream Fields. It's in a black box. You can't miss it. Per serving, which I think is a half a cup, is five carbs. So we can't even eat a half a cup right now. So even if we got a quarter cup of pasta down, it's two and a half carbs. Um, and then if you got really lean hamburger, you could make hamburger helper. Um, I had that on Atkins, and it was tasted like regular hamburger helper you would have never known. Um, did I do anything else? Oh, I'm going tonight. I, like I said, I haven't tried bread non-toasted yet, but I think I'm going to do it tonight because I want to make tuna pinwheels really bad. And what they are is um, you take two pieces of bread, cut the crust off, put them together like this, and flatten it out and then you put the tuna on it and you roll it up short ways and you get some cream cheese and you soften it a little bit and spread it on the outside if you want to be festive add some food coloring to the um,
cream cheese and um, then you roll it in really finely chopped up pecans. If I do it tonight, I'm probably going to leave out the pecans because I'm supposed to stay away from nuts for a long time and I don't feel like having something get stuck. But um, I'm, I'll let you guys know how I do with that. Um, but they're really good. So if you like cream cheese, tuna, and bread, which most people do, it's awesome. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Um, my wound is pretty much healed up, so thank God. I think all this stuff finally came out last night. Um, and those, I think I showed you on my incision, those little bubble things that were sticking out of the incision were actually pockets of Saroma, which I popped. <laughs> so I think it's good. Um, and um, if you guys have any suggestions for me, please let me know. Um, I also bought string cheese, which I love string cheese, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas of something I can do for low carb, let me know. And if I can think of anything else, I will let you know. So, um, have a great night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.